Okay, yeah, no problem. How do you guys want to do this? Um, last time was kind of effective when we just went through the PowerPoint and did the little shout out, but uh, I don't know this nearly as well as I did about the last one, so. I would say just do your own shout out or like say it to yourself and then if there's any questions we can stop you. Like I don't think anyone has to describe anything. Yeah, isn't that how we did it last time? You just, we did the slideshow and then we just did it to ourselves. Is that what we did last time? Yeah, I think we just shouted yeah. out. Okay. Some people yeah, shouted out, like two or three. Mm -hmm. And if there's a question, just go ahead and bring it up. All right. All right, this one should be easy. Starting off with the easy stuff. What is this? Mastoid process. Silent. Easy points, easy points. All right, so I think it starts here. Trapezius. Yep. And then enter. Middle. Those three should be fairly simple to find. And then what right. peaks through anterior med medial scalene? Brachial plexus. I feel like he said that a million times. Yeah, he likes that. What about the next one up? Elevator scapulae. And the next one? Venus capitis. And the big one here. Everybody knows that one. And what about this one right here that goes across? Oh, hi, uh, um, and where does it attach to back here? Oh, scapula, right? The yeah, scapula. scapula. It's uh, a real long. I didn't muscle. know that. Okay. It comes all the way down and it attaches to the scapula. Okay, so we'll start here. What about this one? Uh, Posterior scalene. Middle. 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 And Anterior. Anterior. Yeah. Coleus or long coleus. Long guy, I think. Yeah. And then this one? Longus capitis. Yes. Longus capitis. Okay. So you've got the superior hyoid muscles, hyoid, and infra. Next slide is listing these. What are the four in the superhyoid space? Uh, Ilo. Of the digastric. Anterior and posterior gastric. Yeah. Glenohyoid. Myohyoid. Stylohyoid. What about the infrahyoid space? Omohyoid. Abrohyoid, yeah. Sternothyroid. Thyroid. This was toss. Yeah. Yeah, toss, yep. These are going to be sternothyroid and sternohyoid. Just that T is different on that one. All right, now we get to learn them. All right, oh, right here. Sternohyoid. Okay. Omohyoid. Omohyoid. That's a long one there. Sternohyoid. And then up here. Anterior. Anterior. Digestric. Post then posterior diagram. This Stylo. one's the posterior. Posterior this one's, diagram. Now on this diagram, this one's really easy to see, but as you can see in the cadaver, you cannot differentiate these two. He said, "Oh, there's a little piece of white here, and that's how you know." I never saw the little piece of white. So mm -hmm. if he gives us that and gives us those two options, it's going to be ridiculous. He said, yeah. it "Looks like it's a little more lateral." We'll get to those. So, what about the next one here? Thyrohyoid. Thyrohyoid. And then this one, of course. Sternothyroid. Sternothyroid. And then he beats these to death. What is this one? Anterior belly digastric. Mylohyoid. Mylohyoid. Okay, and he really pointed out this. Uh, he said that this is more of a pulley here. I don't know why. And I think he said that the, the stylohyoid here is split. So then that actually runs in between that. 
Mm -hmm. I just gave you that one. Of course, we know the posterior digastric. What about the inside here? Yeah. And to get to that on the bottom side, we actually have to cut this linea here. Yes. All right. Innervations. Trapezius. And so Eleven. Sorry. Eleven. Okay, sorry. Milo high. E3. Yeah, mandibular. Oh, wrong one. E3 and then facial. Yeah, facial for styloid. Oh. Facial. Cervical flexors. Hypoglossal. Yeah. Hypoglossal. You've got those down. All right. I think we start up here, of course, mastoid process. Um, this one, I, I think I messed up on the labeling, but I couldn't find the styloid foramen. I think it's up underneath here. So mm -hmm. I, that's a bad arrow. And I realized that. Um, of course, we know posterior belly of the digastric. We know that one. Okay, what are these three up here? What's this one out here? Styloid mastoid foramen. Okay, next one. Carotid canal. Carotid. Last one. Raymond lastrum. Raymond lastrum. SCL. St. Louis is what I always think of, but uh, probably here. So, what about this one? Journal thyroid. So no oh, we're starting up here. Just kidding. <laughs> Myeloid. Myelohyoid. Okay. Yes. Now this one. Thyroid. Thyroid. Anterior belly digest. Belly, yeah. Anterior belly. Yeah. What about this one? The one that he. This one's gonna be. It's gonna be hard. Like Josh said, the one that is. It's the sterno. I mean the the. Um, the stylohyoid. Stylo. Yeah. Thank you. I think. He, I, if he gives us this one, we can probably say the stylohyoid because it is more anterior. And since we're looking AP, anterior to posterior, that one would be the stylohyoid. And it always shows the canal up there too, closer to it. And then stone this canal up here. You can't see me pointing. Sorry, the hole above see. it. <laughs> right here. Right here. Yes. Yes. So what does that mean? And that is, or maybe it's just the way you cut it, but I look at that because it's almost on every one as the foramen. It's not that big, but it's that's the canal it's coming out of. Because uh, the posterior belly would be next to that as well. But maybe it's just my, how I'm remembering. I feel like almost every picture, there's somewhat of a hole there. I didn't know that. That's where the facial nerve comes out. That's why it's important between those two, right? Someone kind of hard me. to... I kind of how to orient from this picture. I, I mean, don't think you're right. Okay. But the facial nerves between the stylohyloid and the posterior belly. But you almost have to look at anterior or um, from the bottom up. So go back one slide. So, I mean, if you look at, and again, you can't see my mouse, but um, go to where the, the pipe cleaners are. So the it's styloid mastoid yeah. foramen should be like kind of underneath where the styloid is. So you won't be able to see it looking at it from the front, at least from what I can tell. Yes, I guess I was just looking anterior to the mastoid process, that hole, and maybe I just assumed that was a similar hole where it's coming from. And that's why so I was oriented to like, the foramen. Okay, so you see the finger? Um, um, above, so above number one, there looks to be like a white glove uh, finger. Yes. That may be the hole, which could be where the facial nerve is, but also I have no clue. Yeah. Don't, don't use it as your reference. Uh, uh. Oh. oh, he's so cute. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. Um, it's probably this one. What about this one? Omo Highway. Omo Highway. It's a long one. And then this one? Sternothyroid. Sternothyroid. I'm going to move you guys. Okay, we know these. We've been through these so many times. Now, what about these two? So, which one is more lateral? The reason you know this. Oh, okay. Omohyoid. Omohyoid. So, what's left? 
Sternothyroid. Try again, Hakeem. Hyoid. Oh, oh yeah. Hyoid. <laughs> the sternothyroid is underneath. Oh, see, yeah. it's right there. It's underneath there, but see. We're going to have to go very slow to pick the answers. Yeah. You have to flip those up to get it to it. Yeah. yeah. You just got to see where it inserts to. That's why sometimes studying too much, you're like, oh, that's it. And then you rush off. Whereas if you didn't study quite so much, you would be really paying attention to everything. But all right. And again, he loves these. This one right here. Milo. Milo high. Milo. Next one over. And pure belly digestion. Now this one, there's a lot of confusion on this one. Yeah. Um, the red dot in the video he said is still part of the mylohyoid and as you can see that does make sense what would we call this okay. so the i guess it's right here so the stylohyoid is on top of the omohyoid there not the OMO highway. I'm sorry. Posterior biliary, the di digastric. All right. We've been through all of these before. So I'm just going to peruse. Okay. So what's reflected here? Mylohyoid. And OMO highway. right? OMO highway. And the. Uh, uh, so you see how sternohyoid. Which one would this be? Omohyoid. Right? Is this it? Sternohyoid. Is that what he reflected? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. Yes. And then this one. I don't know if you'd get specific on hey, this is reflected and what's not, but he just says Milo both of those. Are is reflected. Oh. Oh. Okay. Next one here. Uh, thyroid. Thyroid. It's a real small muscle there. Okay. Next one. Sternothyroid. Yeah, sternothyroid. And then no, what that's is this? Thyroid. Thyroid. That's a thyroid. thyroid. <laughs> What'd you say, Hakeem? I said, yeah, it's the blue pin, right? Sternal thyroid? Yeah. So the sternum would be here, but they've reflected it or cut it out. Um, this one back here? Thyrohyoid. How do you know that? That's good. <laughs> I was going to, I guess this is the sternothyroid here, huh? Yes. I haven't really paid attention to the the drawings as much. That's good. Without seeing down here where it attached to, that looks like a complete muscle to me. But all right. And this is the same slide that we've already went over. It's just all in one. And then he details the brachial plexus there. So really, we only have 100 slides because we've already been through that one. Keep on, let me move you guys out of the way. Sorry. All right. So what about this one? Anterior scaling. Anterior scaling. Middle scaling. Middle. No. OK. And what is this? Keel plexus. Keel plexus. He put this up, and he showed us that so many times that you know he's going to ask questions on this. So how do you know this is the anterior, and that's the middle? I don't. <laughs> What's don't this? Because the... it's between them. Yeah. So you know What's that this is anterior because what is that? Is that the lung there? Yeah. There's your probably the <laughs> common carotid there. there. Yeah. And again. And again. But these are some nerves here. So we're gonna start here. Brachial plexus. I had a question. Go back to the one before. This I one, Darian? Question. 
Yeah, that's fine. I must question sometimes if he's going to use the anatomy TV or yeah. if he's going to use the real cadaver. Because I don't know about y'all, but a lot of these things, they just look white. They look all the same color of white or tan or like I can't yeah. really differentiate. He said he liked the anatomy TV pictures for this section for the neck, though, but I don't know. Yeah, I would say no that. both. He's been pretty consistent and straightforward, too. I don't think he'll trick us with any images. Mm -hmm. On this one, you can see it, the brachial plexus having the end at the bottom. I would assume he's going to give us the whole picture instead of zooming in on it. Yeah, this, one's, this one's not as bad as around the heart. Around the heart is very difficult for me without some color in it. I mean, it looks like a bowl of oatmeal to me, but We'll get to that. Fried chicken. We're in the pelvis. I yeah. don't know where anything is. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm the same way. All right, brachial plexus. We know this one. Okay. What is this nerve? Phrenic. 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 Yeah. Okay. What is this muscle behind it? And Middle. Is it middle? One, two. Where's the brachial plexus? Anterior. Yeah. Anterior. So you've got your brachial plexus here. What's anterior oh. to the brachial plexus? <laughs> anterior scaling. There you go. And of course? Middle scaling. No. What's this one? Accessory nerve. And reflected? Sternocleidal mastic. Hypoglossal. Hypoglossal. And then, of course, we know this one. Uh, posterior belly. And the next one. And the next one. Uh -oh. Anterior belly. What is this here? Internal jugular vein. Say that again. Internal jugular vein. I wonder where the external jugular is. I was going to look that Probably up. Probably that one. He cut it right there. Is that it? Okay. So you've got the internal jugular. What's this? Vegas. Oh, the, the, the What is the, the artery here? Oh. Common carotid. You've got carotid. your common carotid down here. And what is this nerve that goes back and forth? Cervical. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think he'll ask this, but which one is superior and which one's inferior? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so of the nerves or the... Yeah. Superior the root superior. and inferior root. Oh. So, Later on, it shows a better picture of just the nerves, but if you look where it attaches, so this one attaches more superior to this mm -hmm. one. So that's the only way that I knew the difference on that. So, of course, we already said that one. What about this one in between the internal jugular and the common carotid here? Vegas. Vegas. Okay. All right, first one off. Uh, brachiocephalic. Okay. Next one. Common. Common carotid. Left, left common carotid. Yep. What about this? Did y'all ever learn it as your ABCs? No. Okay, so it's A order, brachiocephalic, common carotid, subclavian. A B C S. Yeah, your ABCs. I like that. There you go. That's easy. Hey, that is easy. Wow, I never. I never learned that. I, I spent a lot of time on memorizing those. Don't say I never helped you. <laughs> you help a lot. <laughs> All right. So what is this muscle here? That's anterior scaling, right? Okay. How uh, do we know that? The nerve. I use so got for this one. <laughs> you've got your nerve here, and you got this here. Uh, right. mm -hmm. Flexus. Brachial plexus. Okay. So what is the more medial nerve? Vagus. Vagus. And then the one that's above or on superior to the, not superior, Phrenic. superficial Phrenic. to the, there we go. We already said this one. What's the last one? A, B, C, S. A, B, yes. I like that. That's a gem right there. All right, so first one. 
This is the one that he's like, oh yeah, look at the little white here. That's how we know that it's this. Style of high hook. Yeah, it's posterior belly. That's hard, though. I know. So <laughs> on this one, you can kind of see. Oh, I thought I could zoom in. This one, you can kind of see what's on top of what here, but that's gross. All right, next one. What do we have here? External carotid. Okay, next one. Internal carotid. Then what is this nerve that comes out here? Hypoglossal. Hypoglossal. Common carotid, we know that. And what is this one? Ansa cervical. I like anatomy TV on this one. Yeah, that picture on the left is kind of hard. Yeah. So this is the one that I was talking about earlier. See, this is superior. So this is C1, C2, and C3. That's the only way that I know superior and inferior. But I doubt he'll ask that. He really didn't go into much detail on that. So, okay. And again, I think we already went through this one, didn't we? Is there anything different? So I guess it's a different angle. So what is this? That would be external, right? Mm-hmm. Internal. Internal. Uh, hypogloss. Facial. Oh, no. Okay. What about this one? Common. Brought it. And then this one right here. Now, this one would be a process of elimination for me. Is it the pharyngeal something, laryngeal? Laryngeal, yes. Okay. Superior laryngeal nerve. So hopefully it's got something, but I don't think he even mentioned that, but it was on the slide, so I left it. Okay. And this one might be the more of a A, B, C, D kind of choice. What are those letters at the end? I never understood that. Muscle and nerves, I guess. Yeah. I guess. I guess. So what's below the muscle that is a nerve? So this would be the... Hypogastil. And then under the vein, what is the nerve? Or on top, I'm sorry, on top of this vein, what is the nerve? Uh, Ensa cervicalis. Good job. I didn't get that the first couple of times. Okay. What is the... Between this one, we know this one. I hope he asked us that one. Brachial plexus. Vegas. Vegas. Okay. I didn't like this one as much as his other one. I don't either. Okay. Do I remember what he said? Some old lady or something? Yeah. Some mad lady. Some angry, Some angry lady, lady. Figured, figured, figured out, out PMS. PMS. It's, <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. That's all I can say is it works. All right. So what is this one? The Superior thyroid. Superior thyroid. So some A. Ascending pharyngeal. Good job. Oh, we've got gift from zoom we've removed a 40-hour time limit on your group meeting oh my gosh you're so sweet all right so next one hey sweet. somebody said that ascending so, pharyngeal ling something oh no lingual lingual facial facial occipital posterior auriculum yeah i can't yes. say that word maxillary oh my gosh Superior superficial temporal. Temporal, yeah. So now we're actually going to use that. So what's the first one? Superior thyroid. Oh, just kidding. So we're <laughs> going to go through them all and then we'll do it. So superior thyroid and then, um, gosh, I don't know. Which one is this one, do you think? It's really hard to see the A, so it's um, some lady. So it's uh, whatever the L is. Lingual. No. So no. would it be Lingual. the hypoglossal? No, because that's not part of it. Uh, okay. I think it's, these are, this slide is just the arteries. I think. Oh, you're right. I was thinking, I was just 
And what about this one? Facial. Facial. That's going to be the facial. And then this one up here that goes back here. Uh, He's sending. Occipital or posterior oracle. Oh, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't know on this picture. Oh, wait, no. Um, okay. Occipital, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So somebody brought up ascending pharyngeal. I don't see it on this one. Does anybody else see it? Does it go? No, in the lecture he was talking about that that one is frequently cut because it's so small. Okay. Thanks, Brady. This is the same one. I guess it's just a different angle. Those are hard. These are hard. Okay. First, like this one's easier, but this one over here looks like a bowl of spaghetti. All right. First one. So, dang it. I go backwards again. Okay. This one. So is that lingual? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Eight. Oh, okay. Some angry lady. Next one. Facial. Occipital. So where does the superior temporal? So they probably don't have it on there. Yeah, it's not high enough, huh? It would be up here. Okay. Wouldn't it be in the back? I don't know. Like above the ear or I something. Oh no. Okay. I'll pull it up later. Hello, who is it? And again, what is this? That's common, right? Common. Common then, What's this one? Somebody trying to sell stuff. Common Superior or whatever. Superior oh, or just kidding, that one's. It's probably gonna to go to this one, but we know these. Hey, okay, what's this one? So some superior thyroid. Thyroid. Angry. Ascending pharyngeal. Lady. Ling lingual. Now, what is this orange here? Is this the mandible? I don't know. No, that's the digastric muscle. Oh, it says right there. So the digastric muscle splits the lingual and the facial. Is that what you guys see? Yeah, right there. Doesn't have it on here, does it? Yeah, it's right here. So lingual is here and the facial is up there. Okay. All right, now the venous drainage. This one I don't have well. Um, probably start at the top here. So what do we think this one is? I think that one's uh, like retromandibular or something like that. The external, no? Posterior auricular. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to guess that. <laughs> no, luckily it's multiple choice. So if you see the auditorio canal, uh -huh. you can be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, this one. That's how simple though, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that is, but. Um, okay, internal jugular comes down here. Okay. And, of course. Yeah, external. External jugular. Okay. And what about this one? That one's probably your retro mandibular, huh? Yeah. This one's tough for all of us. <laughs> this one's hard. I I've never been intrigued by the venous system. Yeah. Yeah, me either. Facial. Facial. And we've got the two, the V here. We've got the 
Anterior. Communicating. And then communicating. Josh has got it. Those two. I got to go over those. I hope this is a slide. Yeah, I'd be cool. Okay, this one? Sternocleidal jugular, right? Oh, that's that. It. it was the muscle in between. <laughs> Subclavian. Subclavian. Oh, just kidding. We're going up here. So we know the facial. facial. This one comes down. <laughs> Internal oh, jugular. Okay, then probably this one. Subclavian. Subclavian. Goes into the. Subclavian. It's hard to only go one. Um, so we've got ABCs. I love that. What's this one? So we know this is the aorta. What's this harder? Right. right. Right common carotid. And left. And left common carotid. And subclavian. Yeah. Aorta. Now this one he did not touch on, but this is one of the ones that, I don't know, makes you feel good. What's this one? Superior vena cava. Right subclavian vein. Oh no, brachiocephalic. That's the left. Left brachiocephalic. Yeah, so the subclavian's up here, right? Because it comes subclavian, then the oh, brachiocephalic, okay. and then it goes, so Superior. subclavian's up here. Okay, and then we're probably gonna start here. So ABCs, I love that, ABCS. So look up those. All right, so we know this is the aorta, okay? So what is this nerve that comes down here? Vagus. Vagus. And what, which one goes underneath? Left laryngeal. Left oh. recurrent laryngeal nerve. And then what is this? Ligaments are anterior. Yeah. There you go. And what did that used to be, right? Ductus arterius. Balin, you guys got it. Okay, same thing. Vegas. Vegas. Recurrent laryngeal. Recurrent laryngeal. I'm going to skip these. Um, okay, right here. Pulmonary trunk. Pulmonary trunk. Okay. Ascending aorta. And again. Now, what is this nerve here? That's a uh, recurrent also laryngeal. Oh, sorry, that was the artery. This one's gonna be your... That's vagus, right? It's vagus. That's your vagus. Yeah. And here, you've got the... Internal carotid. Internal carotid. And these are your recurrent. Someone said that earlier. Because it goes underneath that. Okay. And then, of course, this one's your left vagus. vagus. We know that. And what's this again? Ligamentum arteriosum. Now, this is the one that he only brought up the difference between the two vagus nerves. I don't know if he went into too much detail on this. <sighs> um, but sympathetic nerves range from what vertebrae? T1 to T5. T1 to T4. Oh, just kidding. Coming down here. Okay. Hakeem, what'd you say? T1, T4, or is it T1, T5? Okay. What about this one? S2, S4. S2, S4. Oh, it said vagus nerve. I guess it's only what's in the picture. Yeah. Okay. So what are these two here? Vegas. Vegas. And then the chain? Sympathetic. Yeah. Okay. This he brought up only because he wanted us to see where the vagus nerve goes to the SA node from the, specifically from the vagus nerve and the sympathetic. I don't think he went into too much more detail than that. All right. Where are we starting? Okay. So what is this? Sturm and oh, clavicle. Clavicle. Uh, 
What do you think this nerve is? Probably the axillary. Yeah. E. Uh, pectoralis major and minor. Yeah. So major, minor. Uh, diaphragm. Diaphragm. Sternum. Pericardium. Cardial. So the sternum, the sternum here is cut away. So what's underneath the sternum here? Pericardial nephrosis. Pericardium. And what's over here? Another diaphragm. Another diaphragm. All right. Mm -hmm. Hang on one second, guys. I've got a phone call. Hang on. <laughs> oh, what number slide are we on? Do y'all know? 39. Nine of 101. Well, Wait, how, many, how many total slides are there? Well, 101 on this. Wow. Unfortunately, I know the first half a lot more than I know the hey, second half. Hey, guys, um, if someone else will take over, I've allowed everybody to screen share. I've got to solve a technical problem real quick. Josh, where are you at? Josh, buddy. Hey, I'll give it a shot. Um, Josh, we're putting you up to this. Yeah, give I'm on a... slide 39. Give it a second. Um, Hang on, gonna... baby. I'll, I'll Just give me a second. <laughs> baby. Just one computer. second, babe. Just um, it must be in the uh, group me chat, though, where he added those. Cause I've got the old one that has 127 slides, which is a lot more. Good grief. It'll be yeah, in, it'll be on the same track, Josh. Yeah. Let me see if I can put the link in the uh, in the chat. I have it up real quick. All Hakeem? right. Yeah, go for it, Hakeem. Everybody should be able to screen share, right? Let's see. I'm no help. I'm in bed with the baby. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be able to screen share if you can just put that link in there. All right, let's see. <clears throat> All right, one second. Let's see. Should be good to go here. All right, I will let you guys just yell them out because I uh, definitely do not know all these. So <laughs> we'll say it starts here. Does anyone know what this one is? Pulmonary. Sounds good. Pulmonary chunk. Aorta. Aorta. Ascending aorta. Got the right oracle and atrium there, it looks like. Did Pierre even go? Oh, Ooh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump ahead. Yeah. Nice job. And we got the left stuff down here, too. Does anyone know what the significance is of the oracle? I kind of forget what this was. I always just, say it's the atrium, but it's always the oracle. Is that just like the covering of it? It looks so, like just kind of flat. The oracle is actually the space that allows the atrium to expand okay. it's it's like the it's like the lung it just opens up um whenever you see a cadaver with a lung it's really you never see it inflated it's real small and that's why they call it the the oracle there interesting just makes me think of the matrix in the oracle but anyway um now we're moving on to coronary arteries so how do you know this is the left versus the right it's by the pulmonary, not the aorta. I don't know. Yeah, it's I think that's true. The shape, that come out. shape that it's makes come. a difference. L A D. Yeah, which one's L A D? Lady. Right there, L A D. There's another name for it too, right? Intra. Intra. Oh, dead on. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe it'll come up. Okay. 
We'll wait for that box to go away. Okay. And then um, what's up here? Circumflex. Circumflex. Oh, cool left coronary artery. Coronary yeah, and then this down below would be that, yeah. Circumflex. Looks good. Ooh, busy slide. I think he typically starts at the bottom. What do we want to say this one? Is? LAD. Yeah, anterior interventricular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Josh? Hey. If you go to the, the bottom of the screen, yeah. the, the taskbar, there's a little pointer thing. It's pretty neat. Right here. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I like I like you. A little you. easier to see. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Thank um, you. Pulmonary trunk. And then next here. Left. Oh, Left. Coronary artery. Yeah. Circumflex. Circumflex. Great. Cardiac vein. Mm -hmm. Great cardiac vein it is. Sir. Oh, I artery or something weird. Yeah. Diagonal, got oh. it. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Not sure where this one starts to see. Okay, we're stuck right here. Pulmonary? Pulmonary trunk, yeah. Oh, my artery well. It's hard to see from this picture, really, to orient yourself. Up here. Is that the That looks like a flap. Part? Looks like a flap to me. Oracle, yeah. Josh, don't wear out that pointer. Ooh, dang it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, twitchy finger. <laughs> How about here? Is that still the left coronary artery? Yeah, you know what? It, it looks like it might be the LAD to me. So, or actually down below would be. Yeah, sorry. That must be the left coronary, huh? Yeah. Yep. Circumflex. Yep. LAD. LAD. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, right here. Let's see. Sub pulmonary. If he has that one, oh well. Oh, yeah. Maybe bonus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Anybody remember this thing right here? Uh, pulmonary trunk. Yeah. She got it. Next. Right coronary. Right coronary. Got it. Must be the right oracle or atrium. Okay. And then this thing. It's not on the phone. What is this? Right atrium. Okay. They're pretty close to each other, huh? All right. Let's see. Starting right here. Which vein? That's um... Small cardiac? Small mm -hmm. cardiac, got it. Next one. Middle cardiac? No, I don't know. <laughs> Anterior oh. cardiac? I didn't know that. Up here? Is that the right oracle? Right. Yeah, oracle atrium. Okay, oracle. Big right. vein here, or car right. artery. Car artery. Let's see, right coronary. All right. Superior vena cava. Vena cava. Aorta. Oh, that's Aorta. All right, we got this one. Left coronary artery. Pulmonary. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Pulmonary. That's my guess. Oh, left oracle. That's a trick question. <laughs> not a not a good one. Oh, we went into the outside. LAD. Mm-hmm. And how about here? Great. Great coronary. Cardiac sinus. Great cardiac vein. Vein in this yep. case, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then here. Pulmonary. Trunk. Got it. All right, looks like we got an artery. Oop. Right. All right. Well, I don't know. Coronary sinus. That was gonna be a big one. Okay. Let's see. What about this vein here? That's a great cardiac. Vein. Yeah. Got it. We didn't know that. Okay. Circumflex. Yeah. Not familiar with that one. Coming back around. I think. Yeah. I think that might be Yeah. IVC. 
Okay, another vein coming into the sinus. Small cardiac. Small cardiac vein. Ah. Okay, uh, artery. They're complex. Right. Coronary, oh. right coronary. Okay, another vein. Middle cardiac. <laughs> got it. And we've got one more artery. Is it the left? No. Something knowing this. All right. I study this a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, personally, I don't think he's going to ask too much about stuff like this. He might ask some of the more major things, but uh, he sure didn't go over it very much. In his I didn't even remember that in the review. Let's see where we start uh, here. Looks like down here. This one's kind of straightforward, huh? Inferior vena cava. Inferior. Okay. Oops. Yep. Right here. Is it fossil? Um, yes. Yes. I think this is just going to the general area. Atrium. Oh. Uh, the atrium. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. So oh. My mistake. Right here. Pulmon uh, Either the pulmonary. Pulmonary. What? Pulmonary what? Uh, Arteries. Left yeah. pulmonary or right? I don't know. I think it's the veins, right? Veins, yeah. yeah. Oh. There you go. And then okay. superior. Oh, that's behind. Left atrium. And then we've got the superior vein right there. Right. And then right here. Superior vena cava. Superior. Up above. Looks like the flat, maybe. Oracle. It looks like they already had that. Okay, what about this Pec muscle? Pectinate. Venous. Yeah, pectinate specific to the atrium, right? Does anyone remember what it is in the ventricle? Trabeculate carne. Yeah. And then which valve is this? Tricuspid. Tricuspid. Yeah, the R in tricuspid makes me think right atrium, right ventricle. So that's how I kind of differentiate nice. it. And then we've got this hole. That's Corner? Yeah, corner. Corner sinus. Um, I can't even hardly see with this box up right now, but we'll take this one right here. Can you exit? It's coronary take me uh, out of valve. The... Hey, should have done that. Oh, all right, let me get back to it. Yeah, I think, what did you say, Brady? I think you had it. Coronary valve. I believe you're right. Uh, I we'll take a leap of faith that you uh, had that. I wish you would. Uh, I'm going to give it a second. All right. Yeah, we'll say it's right. Now it's the other side of the heart. Uh, let's see. We start down here. That muscle, I think we already said it, right? Trabeculate carne, right? Mm -hmm. How about this valve? Yeah, we're still on that right side. This is okay. Let's we'll skip these next three because we know these three. How about up here? Pulmonary trunk. Got it. How about this valve? Pulmonary. Pulmonary valve. And then what's the muscle here that connects to the capillary? It's the, that's the coordinate tendon I. Yes. Um. Okay, pep layer. And then uh, the, the next one though, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it looks like it's pointing to the opening here. I think that's a, sorry guys, I'm back. So the pectinate muscle, that's actually a shape of a muscle. Um, like your your pec major is called a pectinate muscle. It's basically a bunch of muscle fibers inserting onto one specific area. Why did you guys talk about that earlier? Good deal. Mm -hmm. What do we think this one's pointing to? Let's see. Eh, I was never going to get that one. Moderator band. There we go. These look like they're kind of similar muscles as before. Capillary? Yeah, Probably more capillary, right? Posterior and anterior. 
All right, real quick, outermost layer. Epicardium. Epicardium. Middle. Uh, Innermost. Got it. Starting here. You know what? We kind of went through these two pictures. I will quickly go through because we saw both of these. And we got a hundred of these things. And now a real life version. Let's see where we're starting right here. What's that? The, that muscle. Cardin, Cardin, what is it? Carne? Is that the Oh, yeah. Epiculation. Kind of hard to orient, but must be. The How do you know it's there. right or left side? Yeah, I just memorized the, the picture. The picture. <laughs> yeah, in this, in this one, I don't know how you tell. Papillary? Yep. Papillary. And. Tendinae. Tendinae. Okay, left side, probably starting down at the bottom. Oh. Papillary. Papillary. Yeah, I think the same thing, right? Same thing Papillary. again. How about this valve? Micro. Eye cuspid. Up here. Looks like a flap of skin. Yeah, and then looks like we're going up here. So, I mean, aorta. Aortic arch. Aorta. Pulmonary. Pulmonary vein. Vein. Artery. Got two arteries there. And then now, yeah. probably have the vein, yeah. So, how do you know that these are arteries and these are veins here? Backwards. Yeah, the blue would be unsaturated blood going to the lung. Well, because the veins are being pumped in and the arteries are being pumped out. And it's coming from the right side, whereas this is coming from the left. Yeah. This might be just pointing to the general area, probably the atrium. Yeah. Inferior. Or inferior, it is. Okay, um, so which valve, what opens during systole? Aortic and pulmonary. Yeah, and is that relaxation Rub. or contraction? Oh, okay, it says it there. Contraction. Contraction. And then what about the next one? Then they close pulmonary and aortic. Yeah, and these are opening, and that is during relaxation. The Love to contract, relax. Good deal. All right, lungs. Probably starting at the bottom. Parietal. I mean, is that what they're going over? This wrong parietal. This might be just general lung in this one. Cover by the pleural. Okay, and then the covering. Well, it must be that pleural. And not sure what this one's about. Bet you didn't know that. Yeah, I don't remember that slide being in there. Threw a little wrench in the plans. That's that's okay. All right, this is a good one. Oh, we should have blocked this out. You can't see that. How do you tell right versus left? Uh, Rouse lung. With the bronchus and the artery. Mm -hmm. So we know that this one is right. Right anterior. Yeah, it's anterior to the bronchus. To the bronchus. Arteries anterior. And then down here, we know that the arteries. Superior. Superior, yep. Yeah. How about in this one? Right or left? It's right, because there's three lobes. Oh, cheater. Oh, nice. That's a good idea. I don't think there's two veins. So whenever they have the two of them, the two options, those are veins. Because remember, it has to pump in through to, uh, into the left side of the heart. So left two of them and a right two of them. So when you see two of them, it's the veins. That's a good idea. And if you use the RALS rule, you can see the anterior to the bronchus again, too. I will just skip all these. 
And then we know it's left because it's superior. The artery is superior to the bronchus. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'll give it away. I don't think anyone knew that. Um, what do we think this is? Bronchial? No. I don't know if anybody looked at this slide. No. <laughs> Nothing. You know what? I've been bypassing this one personally. Bronchus. The pulmonary artery. That must be a vein then. And this is cardiac notch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. No, no, no. He didn't have that in the review, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. So just skip it. <laughs> skip it. This one was on the review. I remember this. Yeah, right yeah. or left. It's the, the artery superior. Yeah. Why is it left? Left because arteries superior. superior. So how do you know those are the arteries? I just oh, know they'll look at the bigger one. Okay. And you can also tell because everything is kind of uh, superior, inferior. So it's not posterior, anterior. So superior, inferior. So it would have to be uh, LS. So it have to be left. Mm. Yeah, that's a really good. good way to think about it, there, Taylor. I like that. Okay. And remember two, remember two pulmonary veins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I need to keep that in mind. That's a good tip because obviously all these nice arrows won't be there tomorrow. <laughs> no yeah. wish, right? There'll be one. <laughs> oh, yeah, there'll be one. That's true. It's kind of like almost like hairy, like it has all the, uh, oh. all the little uh, the cilia. Yeah, all the little uh, stuff in it. And whereas the other ones are real smooth because it's for blood flow, you don't want any interruption. But for bronchus, mm -hmm. it's a little more like surface area. The bronchus wall is really thick. So whatever the thickest wall is, that's going to be the bronchus. Both those references. I thought that the bronchus always flattened out. On some of these, the bronchus is very flat. And then other ones, it's... It's not so flat. And then just by process of elimination, there we go. It's going to be the opposite, right lung, anterior to the bronchus. You can kind of see that formation. You know, this one's definitely not so superior to inferior. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, a little harder to tell in this one what that bronchus is versus that artery. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to be worthless on these, so because we're starting up here. The red equals what? Parietal. Parietal. Peritoneum. What is this pointing to? I don't know. It's like the extra peritoneal space, I think. Nice. Sorry, I'm about. I guess we're going here first. This or around the organ. Right. Now we're back here. Actually, peritoneal space. Got it. Mm -hmm. And that's the fascia. Got it. Okay, we're starting down here. Visceral peritoneal. You can do that. This must just be, I don't know what this point is. Just a structure, okay? Structure. How about up here? Right. 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 Uh, oh, okay, my bad. Bridal cartoon. Now we're coming back to it. Intro. Nothing. Interior. Interior, yep, just as always. And then let's see, a blank, peritoneum connection, bridal and visceral layers, a Anybody know the fill in the blank? Two layer. Um, it's a double. Something double layer, yeah. How about this blank? Structure sandwiched between the two layers of the peritoneum. I think it's arteries and veins and nerves. And nerves. Ooh, that'd be good. Lip, lip nose? Yeah, that sounds correct. 
Yeah, I think you did mention lymph nodes in the thing as well. PowerPoint. And then what kind of organ is that? Stomach or I don't know. Intraperitoneal. Yeah, like intra oh. Structure. There we go. You know, that could be a stomach though, Rebecca. I don't know. We'll get more specifics later. Let's see. Oh, kind of saw that. That example of the liver. Classiform ligament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now in between. Lesser omentum. Lesser omentum. That must make this. Greater. Dorsal mesentery. Okay. 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 And then we got an example of each. Ventral. Okay. Right here. Uh, Lesser omentum. Got it. I'm assuming this yellow part here, which is a hard pancreas, to get to. retro. Okay, this is pointing to the pancreas. Mm -hmm. And then we said retro here. Mm -hmm. Retro peritoneal, okay. And it looks like we're playing here. Let's see. Just mesentery as well. So just general mesentery. And that's Intra. what the dorsal mesentery, because there's no ventral mesentery besides the stomach and the liver. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we only have one blank here. It's at the top. Falciform. Yeah, it's falciform and then round ligament. Ligament. Round ligament below. And in the real picture, I guess as long as you know that that's the liver. And that's hard. I wouldn't yeah. get that. Mm -hmm. I probably would just ask like before, like what kind of mesentery example is this or something like that, like in that previous slide. But yeah. Do you guys remember how to tell the difference between these two? One has smaller windows and one has larger. Mm -hmm. That's one one. One has more fat. Yeah, I usually do tell it by the fat that you're doing on here. It really doesn't have much fat creeping on it at all compared to this one. It has quite a bit. And then it's probably in the later slide, but the inside of it is pretty telling too. But uh, this one tends to look like it's a little smaller too, more vascularized. Let's see. Well, that'll probably come up later. Uh, let's see, starting down, down at the, this area, what do we call this? Well, maybe it'll show up. And looks like it's pointing to a specific structure with the yellow, maybe, a specific name. I think it just says Winchell, yeah. Okay. All right, so which one is this of those two? Duodenum. I don't believe, well, okay, I was wrong. I thought yeah, it was going to be a water empties into it. Okay, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. And that must make that the gallbladder. I'm assuming it's what's reflected back. Liver. And then leading into that stomach. Esophagus. Stomach. And then, yeah. Spleen. Oh, yeah. Greater. Mm -hmm. All right. And dorsal. Got it. All right. Greater momentum. Mm -hmm. Greater momentum. Looks the same, yeah. Just reflected back. All right, looks like we start down here. Rectum. Sigmoid, or I don't know. Rectum. Rectum. Okay, right here. Appendix. Basum. Okay. Ilium. So ilium is inferior.
Mesocolon or something. Nice job. Pretty close. It's dorsal, dorsal mesentery. It's more dorsal mesentery. All right. Probably, okay, sigmoid mesocolon. Yeah, good deal. And then what type of mesentery? Still dorsal. Still dorsal. In this portion? Sigmoid. And I'm not sure. Maybe it's intraperitoneal. Okay. Ooh, what a busy one. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. We're starting to hear. Which part of that? Ice yeah. Ice yeah. Ooh, okay. Think it. okay. Must be this one. Yeah. Oh, right. SMA. Yeah, it's SMA. I'm not yeah. sure we're all over the place. I'm assuming. Uh, I guess we're going up here. That was mid gut. This must be. Orga? Orga, yeah. Cilia. Cilia, trunk, cilia, trunk. Let's see what we're going. Okay, I guess we're going up here. Ventral. Okay. And then we're going here. Seats. Seats. Mm -hmm. Ascending. Mm hmm. Got it. Ball bladder, liver, esophagus. Why is the arrow Damn going it. up on the esophagus? That's I don't a good know. Question. Getting ready to <laughs> burn, I guess. It's what we're gonna do before the test, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What? Pancreas. Pancreas. Transfers. Um, the junum? The junum. Yeah. Okay. Descending. Descending. Yeah. Big moin. Oh, oh I'm good. I shot. Well, you know. Yeah. IMA. Sigmoin. Rectum. Anus. Um, okay, first two thirds of the large intestine belongs to mid gut. Last one third. Hind gut. Hero supply to the foregut. Yeah. Okay. What organs are suspended by the ventral mesentery? Liver and stomach. Yeah. Great momentum is derived from the Intestines. Dorsal mesentery. Oh. Okay. You know you know what it is. I mean, just because it says derived from there. Mm -hmm. Is the pancreas intraperitoneum uh, attached to mesentery or retroperitoneum? Both. Both. So, well, uh, the tail is intra. What is the purpose of a mesentery? Suspend the organ. Mm -hmm. And supply arterial and nervous. Nice. Ooh, more. What organs are retroperitoneal? And Darian had an awesome phrase for this. I didn't know that until after I made the PowerPoint. What was the phrase? Oh, skipped it. Puckers. Oh. Sad puckers. Sad. Sad puckers. All right, I'll have to S. try. All right, I have to give it a try. What's the S? Um, it's they're not all in here. Like I said, oh. um, the esophagus is in there. Uh, not in there, of course. Some of those aren't in there that I didn't see. I'll pull it back up. You guys keep going. Which renal vein is longer, right or left? Left. Left, right. That was a tricky answer, right, Hakeem? Left, right? Left, right? Oh. <laughs> I know what you're saying, though. Left, right? Left right. and longer. There you go. 
I um, think it's my bedtime. <laughs> there we go. I don't know these. Yeah, these are tough. Gastro duo I know that's the gastric, right? Is that the gastric? Right, gastric. Got it. These these really are anatomically named, though. Like if you kind of slow down and look at where they're going, they really do tell you. What they Common go. hepatic. Yeah, that's true. And you're right. Looking at that, you know, it's leading to the liver there. So okay, proper, proper hepatic. hepatic. Still hepatic. This one's leading to the gallbladder. Right. So okay, sister. Just remember that. This one, kind of, kind of hard to tell that one. Right hepatic, okay. Proper hepatic, right hepatic. This one must be left hepatic, probably. There we yep. go. Okay. It's just kind of a main vein, it looks like. What well, comes off the aorta to supply the um, mid gut? Okay. So or the fore gut, I mean. And uh, let's see, probably going here next. Left gastric. Gastric. Splenic. Yeah, you can see that leading over there. Common. Common hepatic. Ooh. All right. Kind of personally with this stuff myself. Ooh, no, about stuff. pancreas. Yeah, these are yep. easy. All right, and head and body down. Retro. Retro, yeah, And the tail. Retro. Retro. Does anybody know why it's secondary retroperitoneal? I didn't catch why. I thought it just had something to do with the layers because there's, no, uh, never mind. That's something else. Maybe because it's retro, like compared to the liver, like it's still kind of suspended, but it's stuck to the liver. I don't know. I, can uh, be I remember him that. talking about it in the lecture that that other professor, but I don't know if we'll have to know it. Integrity videos. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I haven't opened a single one of those. I watched them. It was probably a waste of time, but I, I can't. <laughs> too much stuff. They're too long. Yeah, they took a lot of time. Can't Made imagine. me feel productive, though. Good job, guys. Okay, I think it starts down here. That's the liver. I, Interesting. Up here. Maybe gallbladder. Could be. Oh, oh, black. Oh, I don't know where, where it's going. What are we cutting here? I don't think I made these. Transverse mesocolon. Mm. This is kind of familiar. Mm. Large intestine. Okay, small Probably. intestine. Can you have that? I'm assuming this is the all bladder. bladder. Yeah. Let's try this. Uh, one. Greater omentum. Hey. Ooh, yes. Hepatic vein. Oh, superior mesentery vein. That's the artery. So the celiac trunk is above the stomach. And since we're below the stomach, that's why it's the superior mesenteric artery, the SMA. Mm -hmm. All right. Our last one there. Yeah, I don't. He only pointed to this slide in his review saying that this is what's inside of the omen, the uh, mesentery is arteries and veins. Oh, now it's getting real. Yeah. Okay. Starting up top. Any clues? Um, superior mesenteric artery. artery. Got it. Yeah. Uh, adrenal gland? I have no idea. I think so. Somebody's looked at that. Um, Renal artery? Artery, yeah. Because it's still got its shape. Ureter? Ureter. Ureter, sorry. Uh, Inferior. IMA? 
party. Sure. Um, left iliac Next artery. Yeah, common common iliac. iliac. Oh. Man, good thing he's tough with that four. Yeah, a little, a little more time to study. Um, superior mesenteric artery. Nice. Because that well, the only reason I knew that is because it's supplying basically the whole large intestine, and then the That's next one is going to be inferior. Yeah. Just below the stomach. Yeah. Good call too. All right. All this is the blood from all gut structures. Blank. All of them. Four gut, hind gut. Returns to the uh, liver. Hepatic to the portal. Liver. To the liver. Yeah, oh. which leads to the liver. Delivered by the biliac trunk. Any. Okay. Returns to the. Oh. Hepatic. Hepatic. Okay. In the canal system, blood from all body wall structures, like muscles, gonads, and returns to the inferior vena cava. Nice. Cava is in like cavil. Um, celiac? No. These are veins. Superior mesentery vein? Is that a thing? Hey! Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Struggling! <laughs> um, common hepatic vein? Portal. portal. Hepatic portal vein. Uh, Pretty close. The kidney ones, the, the splenic. 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 Yeah. Interior mesentery artery? Vein. We know what you meant. Oh, so over the system. God, I don't remember <laughs> this one in mine. Oh. In this drainage of the liver, foregut, midgut, and hindgut. Nice. Okay. It was long. That's the only reason why I knew. And again, superior mesenteric vein, hepatic portal vein, right? Inferior vena cava. I would assume. Celiac? Celiac, good job. I didn't get that. Splenic. Splenic again. And then inferior mesenteric. Inferior mesenteric vein. He's God. nice. He's not going to give us something ridiculous, you know. Mm -hmm. This is where I stopped studying. Um, that is going to be the adrenal artery. I don't remember this one in mine. Super renal artery. From the abdominal aorta, or um, oh, hmm. middle right, and renal, <laughs> celiac, no, <laughs> <laughs> superior, nice, super renal, okay, mm -hmm. to the uh, adrenal gland. No, inferior vena cava. Oh, it's the vein. Just kidding. These are kind of tough. Adrenal artery. No. We're stretching. We're stretching. <laughs> we are. It looks like it's going to the adrenal gland. No. <laughs> I don't. I did not look at this at all. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you. One vein here. Yeah. Is this going to be on? I don't think so. I For think sure. the slide was on there, but he just pointed out to superior, middle, and inferior. So is that the oh. adrenal? <laughs> I keep I saying know. adrenal. Well, if you, base, if you base it off of the adrenal gland, it's just superior, middle, and inferior. You just have to know it's based off of the 
whatever the hell that thing is. You know what I mean? Instead of yeah, just an inferior, but I don't remember seeing that before. Uh -uh. I don't think this is in his review. Click, no. click, click, click. Yeah, yeah. move on. Uh, yeah. Wait, go back. Here we go. Start. This was. Hold on. Oh, okay, left. We know that. Superior. Is that somebody's go. heart beating? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's my pump. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought it was like little, like a little toy. <laughs> no, I was gonna ask Kayla, but I was assuming. Adrenal <laughs> gland. You're good. It's Super a soothing. It's a soothing noise. Renal <laughs> artery. Super renal. Oh wait. Uh... And then renal vein because it's longer and flat. Kidney. Um, Your so as, yeah. See, oh, I didn't. Gosh. I am a. I got rid of a lot of those on my personal PowerPoint. Common <laughs> iliac, external iliac. Um, sigmoid. Oh, descending. Close. This is the hardest one of the four. <laughs> um. Abdominal aorta or descending aorta? I don't know where it stops. I, being I one think the aorta. first one is the IMA. Yeah. Yeah. IMA. Internal. Common. common. Oh, common LEX, sorry. And then internal. Then external. external. Oh, all right. Um, that one's going to be the external. Common. Yeah. Then, then common. common. Um, okay. Oh, is that one the? That's the ascending. Ilio lumbar. Oh, you're right. Ilio lumbar. There's a mnemonic for that. What is it? Um, it's ridiculous. But um, keep going. <laughs> so it's I. Yes. wrote it out. I wrote it down. I love going places in my very own oh, underwear <laughs> it's horrible but I, I gotta get my notes out so um josh keep that one. so that one's going to be the posterior division you could have said universe. lateral sacral oh, i sorry. didn't make it up i wouldn't have oh. made that up oh okay <laughs> Lateral sacral, anterior division. So how I think of this, if y'all are having any trouble um, on that previous slide and he says, okay, what's different? All of our butts are the same in the back. So posterior region. Hey, I like that. The front, you know, we're different male and female, but the back's the same. Good All right, that's going to be and, wait, L4, wait, L5. That's one. one. The other one's L4, L5. Okay, and that's, I'm sorry, L4, L5. Internal yeah. ilia. That one's going to be the superior gluteal, not ilial lumbar. lumbar. Superior gluteal. Lateral sacral. Oh. Uh, can't even see where we're at. I think it starts down. Uh, probably starts down here at the bottom. All right, let's skip to this one. Umbilical. Um, skip that off line. Terator. External, common, internal, posterior, anterior. Oops. 
can't see it. My my bar is in the way. Uh, I can't see that one either. Anterior division. It's like inferior gluteal and I don't know what goes below. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. 87. We're almost there. Probably. Oh. Right. Um, that's probably going to start on the top left one. Renal. I think it goes to this one first. It's a, Does it? Sure. I think so. Renal vein or that's something. That's going to be the. Oh, umbilical. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I think those other two run together. So, like renal artery and renal vein. Inferior gluteal. Obturator. Remember the obturator and the uh, artery <sighs> and nerve run together. So yeah. you're right. Okay. Inferior gluteal is not there yet. Renal. No. <laughs> if it's he a ligament, why is it still red? <laughs> Um, inferior gluteal. Common iliac. Interior. Exterior. Um, up, no. Operators down further. Mm. So that's going to be Josh. <clears throat> These are tough. Operator right there next Operator. to it is close. Yeah. That's going to be the the vesicular or the vaginal and uterine. Superior gluteal on that one. Oh, where is that pointing? I lost it. I guess they were right next to each other. I got you. Okay. That's going to be the inferior gluteal because it's below S1. So the superior gluteal goes in between L4, L5, and the inferior gluteal goes below. L4, L5, right? Or below S1. His favorite muscle. All right, gosh. Gotta look at this stuff more. So we're starting at the bottom. Um, gotta get this printed. See, I don't see the obturator nerve there. These are going to be hard. I guess that's a nerve. Looks just like it. You know, I was kind of umbilical? surprised on the last test how umbilical. I was surprised at how few like pictures he really had. It seemed like there's a lot more question based. I thought the same thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and maybe we're not a lot alone. <laughs> inferior gluteal and then superior gluteal, or that's the um, that's the muscle there. Your gluteal. I don't know what these are pointing to. Um, common. Mm -hmm. Oh, common's more superior. All right. Ten um, more. Ten more. Come on. Ten more. Okay. Where does it start? It's top or bottom? I think I switched mine on. So this is given. Okay. Coccygeus. Yeah. Ischial spine. Obturator. Obturator oh. externus. Internus. Those are a little bit beta ani. 
um, that is the mm. iliocacageus because it goes from the ilium, and then oh, you've got the pubococcygeus and then the rectal cacageus or rectal pubis. I think it's pubo recta. Okay, backwards. Lavender anna. Greater and lesser. Ischial spine. Spinal spinous ligament? Yeah. Sacral spinous ligament. What muscle is superior? I feel like that's gonna be on there. Cockageus. Mm -hmm. He likes that. Let's see superior. Greater static. Oh, no. Greater. Freeman. Oh yeah. Okay. Shield. Lesser. Pubis. They should be the last. I think that's just general. Um. Cockageus. Yes. Piriformis. Yeah, piriformis. Is between what? L4? L4, L5, and S1, along with the um, uh, lesser, no, the what? inferior gluteal artery, right? What is that red star? Piriformis? No, that's up there. No. Iliocacageus. I couldn't get that on on a cadaver picture. All right, where are we starting? Top or bottom? At the bottom. Um. Piriformis. Nope. Vader and I. I think the piriformis is the one back there. I don't know. This is the black. Coccygeus. Piriformis. Oh, you're right. We just talked about that. <laughs> I'm losing it. All right, inferior right. gluteal, because it goes between superior gluteal. Yeah. All right, um, inferior gluteal because it's below S1. It's superior gluteal. L4, L5, and S1. Yep. He likes these. Uh, which one is that below S1? Inferior gluteal. I think it's both. Yeah. And then the piriformis runs with the inferior gluteal. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, I just keep getting wet. <laughs> I know. By the time we get here, we're just exhausted. Um, superior gluteal nerve. Oh, we're done here. The lumbar plexus is what? L4? L2 to L4? What is it? S2 to S3. What is it? I thought it was T12 to L5, like it says. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I think it's L2 to L4, though. The sacral, okay. I mean, the lumbar plexus. Google. Yeah, Google, thanks. <laughs> that would be a question that he would ask. I don't know these yet. Lateral. Our posterior femoral continues. Oh, Real quick, is the femoral nerve supposed to be the dorsal division and the obturator is supposed to be the ventral division? Yes. Okay. That's just backwards to me, but that's just me. One more time, tell me, Brady. The, um, the obturator is supposed to be um, 
ventral and the femoral is supposed to be dorsal, um, but that's just backwards in my mind because okay. yeah, yeah, that was the important part of that one. Sciatic. It's the tibial nerve and something rather. Common. Piriformis. Nice. Inferior gluteal. Superior gluteal. Good job. I don't know. I was just can. looking at the innervations. Yeah, you do. You were just telling me the numbers. Oh, I guess so. I never made that connection. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thank you. Just did that. Well, that's the ventral division. I never understood this picture. Next. <laughs> <laughs> He's just Here saying that those two nerves run together. One's the big one and one's the, lot, the small one. Yeah, the femoral the cutaneous nerve with the sciatic nerve. Is the baby yes. compared to the sciatic. Yes. Sciatic anterior or posterior? Yes. <laughs> posterior, right? It has both uh, ventral and a, go back a few slides. The sciatic has the okay. nerve, which is an, uh, anterior and the common fibular, which is posterior. Mm -hmm. um, so it has both. Okay. I, I thought you were asking, where does it go? Like, keep, go down, Josh? Um, to a different slide? Yeah. Keep going. So here you've got the the pie up there. I thought it went to be the sciatic nerve went to the posterior side. That's what I thought you were asking. Grief. I don't know. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. Oh my gosh! Thank goodness. That was rough. It's gonna be a hard task. Yeah, kind of a grind there at the end. Mm -hmm. Well, we definitely got time to stay for tomorrow. If you'll have time tomorrow, I definitely would just focus on like the last 15. Good night, friends. Tomorrow yeah. we're done with one Thank class. You. Oh, I know. Bye. Go down yeah. to five classes. <laughs> Best of luck. Yeah. Bye. Good luck, everybody. Bye. PowerPoint, Damon. Thank Bye. you, Damon. Yep, thank yeah. you, Damon.